I just finished my lunch, late lunch, but nonetheless, uh, it's time for coffee. So I have a new coffee grinder that I'm going to share with you today, and it is the Vivoc Chef. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this coffee grinder, keep watching. All right, just before we get started, a couple things. First off, I'd like to thank Vivoc for sending me the Vivoc Chef coffee grinder so that I could share it with you. The other thing is this came as a result of one of my viewers, Patricia Reberic, so talked about owning this and how much she loved it and thought I might be interested in taking a look at it. I looked at it, I was interested. So I asked Vivoc and they did send it out to me. So what I'm going to do, of course, is bring the camera down. I'll give you some close-ups about with of the coffee grinder. I'll go over a few specifications with it. I did bring my old coffee grinder out so we can talk about these in comparison one against the other. Um, I'll demonstrate using it and of course I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee. All right, let's quickly take a look at the Vivoc Chef and uh, I'll go over a few specifications, then I'll go over the design and the function of it. So overall length, 6.3 inches, which is 160 millimeters. Diameter, 2.16 inches, which is 55 millimeters. Weight, it is a bit heavy. Yes, 16.2 ounces, 459 grams, so just over a pound. The hopper inside where you put the coffee will hold 20 grams of coffee on average, depends on the coffee, of course. And the jar will hold 48 grams of coffee on the bottom or the collection area. I call it the jar because it's made of glass. A um, few things right off of the top. Yes, it is heavy. Some of that weight, a lot of that weight is due to the glass collection jar. This this is the only one they had that they could send me at the time. I would have preferred something in the stainless steel or aluminum for a collection jar. This has worked out okay, but it does add some weight. You could leave this home and grind directly into whatever it is that you're going to be brewing in. I'll talk more about that in a second. And uh, yeah, so let's go over the design and the key features of it. So the hopper inside, there are stainless steel burr grinder down inside of this, quite a good one at that. It, does add to some of the weight, of course, but it also adds to the accuracy and the ease of grinding. The handle and lid are all one piece. The knob on top rotates freely. All you do is put your coffee down inside, put this on top, and grind. And the grind action is exceptionally smooth. The other features of this is that it has individual gradients for the size of the grind that you're going to uh, create with this so you can make it very, very fine. I'll give you a little bit of uh, the two extremes, very fine and very coarse in a moment, just to show you what it looks like. Um, what's the benefit? Well, my other grinder, which I'll show you in a second, does not have steps like this. Having steps like this, these grind numbers running one through six in different grind sizes, allows you to tailor the grind to the type of coffee maker you have. I'm using an AeroPress today. But if I was using a French press, I would want it quite coarse, or a percolator, which I don't use, or cowboy coffee. They benefit from having a coarser grind. If I'm using a pour over, they benefit from having a finer grind. If I'm making espresso or using a mocha pot, a fine grind is also good. Once you get it dialed in, literally, and you know exactly what grind size you'd like to have for your, the type of coffee and the maker, then it's easy just to set it for the next time. As opposed to, let me get out my old one. So this one I've been carrying for a long time. A lot of people have asked where I got it. AliExpress, probably eight years ago, <laughs> maybe even longer off of AliExpress. Cheapest one I could find. I just wanted the small grinder I could take with me in the woods and maybe move up to something else at a later time. It works, it works, but it has a few downsides. The collection part, you can leave this home. Uh, you don't need to have that. It is bigger than the one that comes on the Vivoc. It is a, a ceramic uh, grinder on the bottom. It, that works as well. Uh, it, yeah, it works, but I, what I find is it doesn't work as well as the one we have. Gr change in the grind is done by here. There's no steps. You just kind of loosen it off a little bit or tighten it up a little bit. Grind a few a, a few uh, swings through or a few uh, grinds. See if you like it. If you like it, then continue working with that. The hopper is accessed through this lid on the top. It's quite a deep hopper. It does hold more than the Vivoc. And the handle is separate, and you just lay that on top. So the basic method for using it is the same. It's just the, the finesse at which one works over the other. Okay, so I did mention the size for a reason. Where's my AeroPress? A lot of people followed up on Steve Despain's 
trick from the firebox stove. And he does sell a grinder very similar to this in that the grinder will go down inside and you don't have to bring the bottom with you and you can save a little weight and compactness, everything, when you do that. That, yeah, okay, that's, that's legitimate. It does do that. Unfortunately, the Vivoc won't. It's just slightly too large. Even if I take the jar off, it's just slightly too large to uh, go down inside of the AeroPress. So that's just something you have to decide if that's important to you or not. Um, okay, so what I'll do now is I will put a few uh, bit of coffee in this, well, I'm, actually all the coffee I'm gonna need, and then I'll grind it through so that we can uh, make a cup of coffee. So I'll, I'll set up for making my coffee, show you the grinding, and we'll go from there. All right, let's load up the uh, coffee grinder with coffee. Take the lid off. Coffee I'm using today, does this surprise anybody? Rampage coffee, still the coffee of choice. Love using this. This is the Rampage Riot, their medium roast. And I'm putting in three scoops, or about three tablespoons, which is about all you get inside of this. Maybe not even quite. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the hopper is not really big inside, but uh, just big enough if I'm making a single cup of coffee. So I'm going to start by grinding it a little bit coarse on number six. I'll take it out and show you what that looks like. Then I will put it back in. I'll take it down to number one just to show you what that looks like. So the first thing I'm going to say by comparison to the other coffee grinder that I've used for so many years is that this is incredibly smooth and incredibly fast. I don't want to lose my coffee. I just want to show you. So you can see how coarse that is. That would go through these beans in seconds. 40 seconds at the most, I'd have them all gone through, maybe even faster than that. I'm gonna load those back into the hopper. My water is ready here beside me in my kettle. So put that back on. Shift it down to the setting number one. Run it through. There's more resistance, obviously, when you use it on the finer grind, but it's still very easy to use. Again, don't want to lose my coffee. I mean, that's just about a powder, isn't it? That's the difference between number one and number six. Great grind size differentiation. So you can use it with all types of coffee makers. You probably see my kettle boiling away here. All right, let's do this in real time. Let's just see how long it takes for three tablespoons to be put through this. Oh, well, actually, I'm gonna go take it to, I'm gonna set it right in the middle at number four. With the French, or the, with the AeroPress, you can go fine or you can go coarse because of course it's filtered. I find I like it to make it a little bit coarse, then I can just let it set a little longer in the water, a little longer extraction time, less affected by the heat. I think that's just about finished. So easy, so fast. Normally when I was doing a video, I would uh, break <laughs> for the grinding because it can take so long. Yeah, that's nice. Very nice. There's what number four looks like. All right, let's get that into the AeroPress. Put the grinder aside. Add my water. Just before I get it all the way to the top, I'm gonna to give it, a, can you see it blooming? Look at that. Look at it rise in the middle. That's a good fresh coffee when it does that, that bloom. Some people say mix, some people don't say don't mix. I mix. Top it off with water. Put the lid and filter on. 
leave it set for a couple of minutes. I'm going to leave it set. I'll press it through and we'll wrap this video up with a few closing thoughts. Oh, still a little bit hot, but really tasty. Okay, a few closing thoughts on the Vivoc Chef coffee grinder. Okay, first thing I'd like to do again is to thank Vivoc for sending this out to me, but especially viewer Patricia Reberic for suggesting I take a look at it. Thank you very much, Patricia. Great. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm really liking it. There are, however, a few pros and cons. Let's start with the pros. The pros are high quality construction, variability in the grind sign that you can set and set back and go back to each time. You know exactly what it is. Very fast, very smooth grinding. Yeah, I really like that. It is, it is, I can't tell you how much faster. I should actually do a time test on it, but I know that this is got to be at least three times faster than grinding the other one. You say, What's the rush? It's not so much the rush, it's the effort. You're just grinding and grinding and grinding with the other grinder. If you own one, you know what I'm talking about. This is fast and accurate and easy as well. Consistent grind size. This actually produces a more consistent grind size for whatever setting you have it on. So there is that as well. A couple of downsides, however, however, is one is the weight. It's big. Oh, it's not big. It's, you know, it's not big at all physically, but it's heavy in terms of weight, just over a pound. Part of that is because of the glass hopper on the bottom or the glass collection chamber on the bottom. But the whole thing is solidly construction with stainless steel burrs on the inside and that glass on the bottom that adds weight to this unit. So it may be heavier. Well, it's heavier than any ultralight person is going to carry. I'll probably carry this because I just like how well it works. But I can see people saying, no, that's just too heavy. I, I think I'll go with something else, maybe the cheaper one, because it is lighter. It still works. It's just a little bit more work to get it to do exactly what you want it to do. Uh, another thing is it doesn't fit inside of the AeroPress. Ah, that's just slightly too bad. It's not the end of the world because I can stuff other things down inside that empty chamber, put this somewhere else and I'm good to go. But the other thing is the small hopper. You saw three tablespoons of coffee just got inside of that hopper. That's all I could get in there. If you want to grind more coffee, you're going to have to run through those three tablespoons and then add more back in. The good news is it runs through very, very quickly. But three tablespoons is just ideal for me. People would say that's strong for uh, a cup of coffee. Maybe. That's just the way I like it with my AeroPress is to make it kind of a strong, strong brew. But yeah, that would be the probably one of the other two. Be besides the weight, it is a small amount of coffee that you get inside. But for that weight, you get quality construction. You get the, in not infinitely variable, the six positions of grind sizes, which are really consistent. You get a very fast acting device. It's a great device for sure. It's not inexpensive, but it is not overly expensive either. So I guess what I'll do now is I'll uh, open it up to you. If you have any comments or questions on this coffee grinder, please put them in the comments section below. As always, I'll put all the specifications, the weight, the size, and all that type of thing, as well as the links where you can take another look at this in the video description below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.